When it comes to buying and owning a handgun, many people are worried about the concealability of the gun. And most of the time, the final decision whether to buy it or not revolves around this specific reason. This is especially true when you're deciding on a gun for your EDC gear. You never know when a disaster will strike, so being able to take your SHTF weapon with you anywhere is imperative. A handgun is not a random fashion accessory that you carry with you freely. The model of your pistol or revolver depends on what your purpose of owning it is in the first place. If you're one of those people who shoots for fun and likes the performance of the gun rather than carrying it for your own protection, then you're not limited to the size of the gun and how concealable it really is. We've listed the top 5 concealed carrier revolvers and their key features, plus things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming in at number 5, the Kimber MFG K6S Stainless 357 Mag. Starting with the size, you should find the model compact enough to be a concealed carry. There's no doubt that you'll end up liking this handgun even more. It features a hammerless design complemented with a dehorn frame. This means no sharp edges that might get caught in your clothing. You can easily deploy the revolver as fast as possible in an emergency. The trigger on this model is the most outstanding feature. Many people find it smooth and even great for learners. The company did put a lot of engineering into the trigger, and for sure it's the best. The sights found on the revolver should be perfect for its size. Many people will find them useful for different shooting scenarios. Coming in at number 4, the Taurus 905 Revolver. At its most basic, the Taurus 905 is a 5-shot snubby chambered for the 9mm cartridge. It has a 2-inch barrel and a short grip for easy concealment. A full-length underlug is used to envelop and protect the ejector rod. Unlike some of the lighter revolvers on the market, the 905 has a steel frame to match the steel cylinder and barrel. And while the steel frame adds weight to the overall package, it also adds strength while keeping production costs very reasonable. The sights, however, are pretty basic. The front sight is a serrated ramp that is part of the barrel. The rear is a notch at the rear of the top strap. Taurus uses a traditional spurred hammer in this revolver. All shots are double action unless the shooter manually cocks the hammer. The double action pull is heavier than my Lyman trigger pull scale can actually measure. Though heavy, the pull is fairly smooth. The single action pull feels great with a clean break and virtually no take up or over travel. Like Smith & Wesson revolvers, the cylinder rotates in a counterclockwise fashion. Also similar to s guns, the cylinder release latch is pushed forward to open the gun for loading and unloading. The Taurus ships the 905 with rubber grips. Unfortunately, the grips are not the soft rubber used in the company's rubber grips. Instead, they're made with a hard rubber that does very little to absorb recoil. Skip down to the finishing touches and range time sections for more information on grips and recoil. Coming in at number 3, the Colt King Cobra Carry. Colt did a good job with their King Cobra, and the carry variant is an awesome choice for a concealed carry. This reincarnation of a past revolver is being made as a 6 shot and 357 Magnum, of course, and it's seriously solidly made. The Colt King Cobra Carry is well made for use as an EDC, thanks to its bobbed hammer and 2 inch barrel, but there's more to it than the ease of concealment. It's a DAO or double action only, which is just fine for a CC gun. Having a DAO adds a layer of safety to your carry, and yeah, you can learn to operate a DAO. Thanks to its stainless steel barrel and frame with a brushed finish, this gun is well suited for daily use. It ships with the Hogue overmolded grips and has a brass bead front sight. It's chambered with 357 Magnum, so you can load it with that or 38 Special. Using 38 Special is fine, but don't short yourself on the discount value of 357 Magnum. The King Cobra weighs in at 26 ounces empty, and with the right holster, it basically disappears against your body. Plus, it's accurate, reliable, and durable. They also make larger King Cobras, too. If you want a larger carry gun, or maybe you want to keep the full size in your nightstand, but carry something smaller. Coming in at number 2, the Smith & Wesson M&P Bodyguard 38 Crimson Trace. The 38 Bodyguard really is a 21st century 38 snubby in terms of execution, features, and refinement. There's two features that immediately jump at you when you pick it up. First, it's the integral Crimson Trace laser, mounted on the upper right side of the frame behind the recoil shield. The activation button is located at the top of the unit and can be operated by the right or left thumb of the shooting hand, or by sweeping the thumb of the supporting hand across it while in a two-hand grip. 
Great news for lefties, this is one of the few apparently right-handed accessories that actually works just as well, if not slightly better for you guys. Push the on-off button once for a solid dot, a second time for a pulsating dot, and a third for off. The next most noticeable feature is the repositioning of the cylinder latch release from its traditional left side of the frame to the center of the upper frame just below the rear sight channel. I was a little worried about getting used to the position of the release, a worry which proved completely unfounded. The front sight of the M&P bodyguard is plain black and pinned in place on the barrel shroud so it can be changed. We'd like to see an option of excess big dot sights being available for the bodyguard. It'd make the bodyguard excel even further in close range, low light combat that this gun is designed for. Coming in at number one, the Ruger LCR X327 Magnum Revolver. The Ruger LCR X327 Magnum Revolver is marketed as the evolution of the revolver. As a result, the concealed carry revolver features the latest technological advancements for shooters of all levels. First, the Ruger LCR X327 Magnum Revolver is lightweight with a compact barrel size. The Ruger LCR X offers a small frame revolver with a smooth trigger and very minimal recoil. Secondly, its monolithic frame is composed of 400 series stainless steel. The patented friction reducing cam results in a smooth, non stacking pull of the trigger. Thus, it's an ideal concealed carry revolver because users of all experience levels can feel comfortable handling and firing this sidearm. Every segment of the production assembly keeps weight in mind, which allows Ruger to offer such a lightweight and comfortable revolver. Third, the sidearm includes high strength stainless steel on the cylinder, along with a PVD finish. The external hammer is designed for single action, which supports six rounds of Federal 27 Magnum ammunition. Lastly, the grip peg enables owners to customize the Ruger LCR X327 Magnum revolver with various grip styles. So let's talk buying guide. What should you keep in mind when considering revolvers for concealed carry? First, consider the caliber. Caliber impacts all kinds of things like weight, recoil, and capacity. Make sure you're not considering a 44 mag if you're more of a 22 lr kind of shooter. When it comes to concealed carry, some of the most popular revolver calibers include 22 lr 38 Special, and 357 Magnum. The bigger the caliber, the more felt recoil you'll experience and difficulty you'll have staying on target with follow-up shots. Try to find the right balance of power and control, which is all about experience and personal preference. Consider capacity as well. When it comes to concealed carry revolvers, you're really stuck with two options, five or six rounds. If you must have the most available stick with revolvers that offer an additional round. If five rounds will do, you'll probably save a little weight and open up your options quite considerably. Consider hammer or hammerless. A hammerless revolver is great because it removes the one thing literally sticking out of the gun and likely to get snagged in a drawer or on your clothes, the hammer. If you prefer hammerless options, there's a ton to choose from and they're all generally designed for concealed carry, which is definitely a bonus. Let us know in the comments which concealed carry revolver is the most accurate for you and why. Thanks for watching this video and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.